My name is Karina Surachinsky. Welcome to my presentation titled FLT3 CD3 Bispecific Antibody Specifically Eliminates Normal Hematopoietic Progenitors and AML in Humanized Mouse Models. Here are our disclosures. Acute myeloid leukemia, AML, is a blood cancer with poor clinical prognosis and limited therapeutic options. Myoablation followed by hematopoietic stem cell transplantation, HSCT, is the only curative treatment. The conditioning regimens used for myoablation, however, are highly nonspecific, often lead to life-threatening side effects, and are also potentially ineffective against quiescent AML populations. FMS-like tyrosine kinase 3, FLT3, is expressed on AML blasts in a majority of patients and is a promising target for the specific elimination of AML. To address the challenges of efficacy and resistance in targeting AML, we developed a humanized bispecific antibody, CDX, that recruits T cells through CD3 to target and kill FLT3 expressing cells. In addition to surface expression on AML blasts, FLT3 is normally expressed on hematopoietic stem and progenitor cells, HSPCs, and downstream blood lineages such as dendritic cells. Surface expression of FLT3 in leukemic cells, as well as in HSPCs, makes it an excellent target for T-cell-mediated conditioning that specifically eliminates both AML blasts and HSPCs, allowing for subsequent transplantation. We discovered and humanized several clones of anti-FLT3 antibodies. To avoid possible competition of FLT3 ligand, we selected a clone whose binding and function is not inhibited by the ligand. Here we show that in vitro treatment with CDX redirects primary human T cells to kill multiple AML-derived cell lines that express varying levels of FLT3. The EC50 ranges from 0.3 to 15 picomolar. To test CDX in vivo, we first humanized mice using primary human peripheral blood mononuclear cells, PBMCs. After engraftment, we injected a FLT3-positive AML cell line, MV411, which was engineered to stably express EGFP. Mice were treated intravenously with six doses of CDX or left untreated. Progression of AML was tracked by monitoring the frequency of EGFP-positive cells in the peripheral blood of the mice. Mice were euthanized when they presented with cachexia, hind leg paralysis, or significant weight loss. Treatment with CDX significantly delayed the proliferation of MV411 cells based on lower frequencies in the peripheral blood, and increased median survival by 28 days relative to untreated mice. We then wanted to test the conditioning potential of CDX. Humanized mice were generated by transplantation of human core blood-derived CD34-positive HSPCs, the mice showed stable multi-lineage engraftment with significant populations of T-cells at 25 weeks. Mice were treated intravenously with three doses of CDX at varying concentrations or left untreated. Mice were euthanized 16 days after starting treatment to assess conditioning in the bone marrow. Total human engraftment in the bone marrow was reduced and specifically CD34 positive HSCs were depleted in the bone marrow at all doses. We observed that T-cells in CDX-treated mice overexpressed the immune checkpoint receptor PD-1 relative to untreated mice, and hypothesized that PD-1 inhibition could enhance AML clearance by preventing T-cell exhaustion. Humanized mice were generated with cord blood-derived CD34-positive HSPCs. After stable multi-lineage engraftment, mice were injected with EGFP-positive MV411. Mice were then treated with three doses of either CDX or anti-PD-1 antibody or a combination of CDX and anti-PD-1 antibodies. Mice were later transplanted with autologous mouse bone marrow cells to rescue the mice from the effects of conditioning. Treatment with CDX alone led to decreased frequencies of AML cells circulating in the blood but only modestly improved median survival relative to anti-PD-1 alone. In contrast, co-treatment with CDX and anti-PD-1 antibody significantly increased median survival and was associated with decreased PD-1 expression on T-cells. In addition, administration of CDX alone 
or in combination with PD-1 and humanized mice, resulted in efficient elimination of the human hematopoietic compartment from the mouse bone marrow. In conclusion, we generated a bispecific antibody, CDX, that activates T cells via CD3 only in the presence of FLT3 positive target cells, leading to the efficient killing of FLT3 positive AML cell lines in vitro. In vivo, treatment with CDX significantly delays the progression of AML in PBMC humanized mice. In addition, treatment with CDX conditions the bone marrow of mice humanized using cord blood progenitors. Combinatorial treatment with CDX and anti-PD-1 antibodies suppresses AML progression and significantly improves survival compared to single treatment regimens. Finally, we believe that CDX shows promise for concurrent treatment of AML and conditioning for hematopoietic stem cell transplantation with improved specificity compared to standard of care. Thank you.